Yo, what's up? Today, I'm going to talk about ten thing you cannot do in China. China, China, and also ten thing you cannot do in the U.S. It's like a comparison. Okay, so first of all, let me ask ChatGPT, what is ten thing you cannot do in China? As you know, answer from ChatGPT might be interesting. Man, it's so easy to expect answer that came out of ChatGPT. It's always so formal and long. It's like an essay. Just stop it. We want some. Quick, easy answer. Damn! Stop it, ChatGPT. Let's just do five things for now, cause it's kind of over overwhelming with all that informations. Okay, so the first one, I'm not even going to mention it. The second one, yeah, I'm not gonna mention that either. The third one, yeah, same. Fourth one, same. Oh, the fourth one's actually it's okay to talk about. It's about culture, etc. But I feel like now today, there are actually more people who. The respect to the Chinese culture in China than anywhere else, I think. Like the younger generation, while well, like law and regulation, I think that's the same everywhere. It's like except in some area of the world, third world country, you can you can actually have a second option, which is use the yes. So now that we know what. The ChatGPT answer. You wanna like actually look it up on some article, but I don't really trust the article because be biased toward Chinese culture. Not not just culture, but like anything that relate to China. Like you know, a war that is really popular right now called xenophobic. Damn. Okay, so the first article pull up. Man, it's like twelve things. There are a lot of things you cannot do in China, though. Don't drink tap water in China. That's true. But in the most household now today in China, you they had installed a filter that you can naturally drink from the tap water, but not in the public area. Don't trust a stranger that will take you to a tea house or show. I think that ha- actually happened long time ago. Like they like to scam the foreigner, saying that this is our culture, like traditional culture is really valuable opportunity. But I don't think I see this kind of thing often now. Don't make someone lose face. Oh, I guess this means the prime, like the proud, like ego. Yeah, that's really true. Everyone here in China, they. They had their proud. They want. They don't want to lose face. Like it's so important to them. Like, literally, all they do is don't want to lose face. Face is so important now today. No, don't like that. Don't visit Chinese person's home without a gift. Not necessarily true. Depends how how well you know each other. Most of the time, if two persons. No, two people who don't really know each other, or they are just stranger. They usually bring a gift, but if you are like homie, no, you don't. You don't need to. Especially for homie, homie never bring a gift. Don't leave your chopstick vertical in your food. Yeah, that's really true. This one is especially true. I had an experience when I was growing up as a child. I was only five or six years old, and I put my chopstick in the middle of the rice, 
and then I got slapped on the face. I think I don't even remember. But because usually when you put chopstick on the like on the center of the rice, it's like basically it's like we had the culture of burning incense. It's um also meaning somebody had passed away or somebody died. So when you do that on the family meal table, you're basically saying that person sit next to you is dead or yeah, don't do that. Don't use one hand to give or receive things. It depends also depends if hold me or not. It also depends if someone who's older than you and also depend on what they give you. Something really expensive, sure. I will just of course I will use both of my hand, but it's like yeah, it totally depends if someone give me like something I don't want. Like I usually just receive it with one hand. Don't take the first year. Yes or no, literally. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like we always say, like when someone asks you if you are going to a party or not, or something like, ah,、uh, I will call you back. Like for example, if you call someone and then you ask them to call you back, and then he said how 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 how, which means yes 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 yes. It does not really necessarily mean yes. Don't accept food, drink, or gift without first first refusing a few times. Uh, is is, I think this set of rule is a little bit too outdated, because now the day, yeah, this is stupid. Yeah, this is stupid. I would usually just accept whatever people give me. So, yeah, this is so conservative nowadays of the impression about Chinese people. Don't drink alcohol without offering a toll first. Oh yeah, for most cases, if you are drinking with like a lot of people, like anyone, like if you are drinking in a group of three or more, yeah, usually you should、uh, offering a toll first. Cause if you just drink by yourself and not saying anything, that probably mean you are pissed off or you're mad, like. People will look at you. You are not happy sitting here. But it also depends. Younger generation have different behaviors nowadays. Don't take picture inside the temple. Ah,、uh, depends. I took a lot of picture while I was yeah going up in in the temple. But it really depends. But normally it's not allowed because it's a sacred place. Yeah, you know what I mean. So don't do that. Museum, de- depend on the instruction. Okay, so next one, don't tips. Yeah, I mean, unlike America, most country in the world, you don't tip because I guess people who work in a like a service industry, like waitress, they get paid. They do get paid for salary. Not like、mm, some democratic. Society that you hire someone, you you barely even pay them. And you expect the customer to pay their their tips. It's like like sometimes in China, if you you pay someone with tips, they will like they will be shame. It's like like it it almost like an insult to them. Like you are pity them. Like why would you even give them money when they had salary? But yeah, so we don't really receive tips. Very sad. Don't bring your green hat to China. This is just a something of a trend. It's like we have we have a saying that、uh, when you are being treated like when you are being cheated, like by your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your partner, that means you are you are being wore with a green hat. That means you are being cheated. So yeah, that is like a saying. Wow, this article is actually right by Leon Long, China expert, Asian face. Yeah, I don't know. He probably living two thousand five, or he just wanna please someone. Okay, I also wanna check out some of the YouTube video that 
what people said about you cannot do in China, five things cannot do in China. It would be especially fun to watch video like this to actually seeing people talk about it because they had emotion. So I, I'm going to judge them. Man, one with the most view. Man, this seriously, I'm. I don't even see I'm. I can watch it. It's like this kind of video with all these thumbnails. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'll skip it. Uh, okay, so now is yeah. I'm. I'm still gonna watch it. Eh, no man, fuck it. I'll just watch this one. Oh man, I know this guy. This guy actually at first this guy and this guy they live in the city where i live in for a long time Shenzhen. at first they only make video that compliment about china and now i don't know what reason that happened to them or they they just keep posting video that is, is like kind of criticized about china all the time it's almost too subjective it's like they had double faces I don't know if they had received the money or what. It's just that they 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 swap faces so fast. Especially like this this one. Like they don't even owe that picture. They don't even know who this girl is. Like on the thumbnail. But they picked this picture. It's so exaggerated. I really cannot believe this completely xenophobic guy. That's why I think. Uh I will watch the first one. Nobody stops them. You know, nobody tells them. Oh, nobody stops them. You know, nobody tells them. Oh, madam or sir, shut up or don't talk or you can't do that. No, I hope you haven't seen anything inside this toilet. I was like, no, no, no. Oh, you know, like 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 this guy, this Lao Lao Wai guy, and the uh, serpent. I don't even know how to pronounce it. So now, after knowing things that you cannot do in China, I wanna like find out what's the what is the five thing you cannot do in America, cause it would be fun to compare. First of all. I need to ask ChatGPT first because now AI, you better be friend with them or they will one day they will seek revenge. No. Copy, paste. Man, come on. Okay. Cause nobody actually really asked the question about things that you cannot do in America. It's like certainly in every country, there's certain thing you cannot do to the culture or to the law, but. America's being so exaggerated, like so being so advocated as a free country that actually nobody talk about things that you cannot do in America. Uh, okay, first one, follow traffic law. Damn, so basic. Seriously, seriously, pay taxes. Okay, obey the law. Obey the law. Yes, respect the right of others. Yes. Oh, yeah, participate in the democratic process. Yeah, yeah, it's all about that. I know, I know. America's all about that. Ah, uh, right now I'm gonna look it up to see what people say about it. People who write article. Damn, this one is. This one has strong title. Cannot open that site. Okay, number one. Don't touch the American. Yeah, personal space about personal space. Although, yeah, I'm not gonna. Ah, I'm gonna say it anyway. But like, I feel like Americans are the most touchy human being in the world. Like literally, literally, they are the most touchy people in the world. They hug. It's, yeah, they also you know people who are. Girls like they like to just want to cuddle. They always like to touch each other, you know. Okay, second one. 
Don't count on public transportation. Yes, that one I know after so many years studying in the US. Yeah, don't count on public transportation. You had no idea where, we, where you will be end up with, with. And like, yeah, public transportation is m- more like public moving you out of like somewhere you don't even know where it is. Like, yeah, not good. Don't underestimate the size of the US. Yeah, it's, it's really big, it's still smaller than China. Huh. For if there are any comments saying that I'm not true, here I am, fat check. America size. No, US, USA to be exact. Size 9.834 million kilometers square. And then China, 9.597 meters, million square. So, wait, why, what? I am being scammed. And I don't think that's right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I guess, no, I need to search the total area. Still the same. Wait, what? Yeah, I have been Wait a minute. Why do they have different different data for in different website? Okay, I'm looking at this one. War meter. China had the third largest. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are not mentioned this one inch. Don't forget about cell tax. Yeah, that I that one I know because when you buy you get your cell tax deducted already. Don't forget to tips. Yep. Opposite to the Chinese cannot do. For China, America, don't forget to tip because it's capitalism. Okay, next one. Don't get freaked out by attentive service and free stuff. Americans like free stuff. What does it mean? Don't get freaked out by attentive service. Uh. So basically at a meal you get free bread, chips, salsa, tap water. Ah yeah that that yeah. Okay. Don't smoke cigarette in the US. Wait what? What does it mean? Huh. So people will look at you like you're trying to kill their baby when you are smoking cigarette around them. Oh damn, it's like this is not what I remember about the US. The, the US I remember is a bunch of family. I'm not gonna use an adjective war. Bunch of family, single mom, smoking cigarette in front of their kids all the time. Don't trust information on the internet so easily. Number eight, don't try to buy alcohol unless you are 21 years old. Yep. The the younger you are, the more likely you would like to sneak into the, the, the bar or borrow someone's ID or fake ID to buy alcohol. But it's like, this is what Americans teenager taught me. They, they are the one that who taught me to make fake ID. Before, until then, I don't even know what is fake ID. Ironic. Don't bother with the metric system. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Cause, yeah, I don't even know why. Cause we all the science stuff and uh, scientific research, math, you always use the the what's the system? Yeah, I am uneducated actually right now. I'm being uneducated. What's the opposite of metric system? Opposite. I don't think they are even two sides. I don't think they are even in perspective. So, oh, import system. Yeah. Wait, what is import system? Okay, okay. So now I see import system is the rest of the world. Metric system is the US. Okay, uh, next one. 
Number ten, don't talk gun control or politics. The last I heard, free speech still exists. I thought America is a country with a freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Why you couldn't talk about politics? Don't talk gun control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just put on a a Trump hat and talk about it. Then you are fine. Put on a Trump hat when you do that. Don't assume all Americans are the same. Yeah, West Coast, East Coast, Middle, and then Northwest, all different. Atheist, religious, transgender, uh, feminism, uh, equality stuff. Yeah, just like eight hundred different piece of group. Number twelve, don't say the U.S. had no culture. What is U.S. culture? It's a、uh, yeah. I don't really want to talk about U.S. culture. Yeah, when you put、um, the Queen and American eighties rock like B.G. or or B.G. I don't even know where B.G. is from. Eh, they are all similar. But how is that culture influence? It's like. America does have culture, but those culture are heavily influenced by other country. It doesn't have the original culture. I think the original culture are all from Native American, but that is not the first impression I know about American culture, because that's not they advocate for. It's the Hollywood stuff. So, number thirteen. Don't think how are you is actually a question. Yeah, it just it's a question that does not need to be answered. Don't expect free extra at fancy hotel. Yeah, everything costs money. Hotel, airport, hospital, vending machine—they're everywhere.、You、just they're accessible everywhere, but also require your credit card as well. Number fifteen: Don't miss the local cuisine. I'll skip this. Don't get sick. Yeah, yeah. Don't get sick unless you have、uh, insurance. But by the time you have been paying so many years of insurance, that would be the same、uh, when you are paying the single bills. It's like math. It's math. Number seventeen. Don't argue that there are more than fifty states. I'm not really、uh, knowledgeable in this kind of subject, so I'll skip. I'm not going to going to be pretend. Uh, smart ass. Yep. So that's it. What do you think about thing that you cannot do in the U.S.? Also, what do you think about if you have been to China? What do you think that you've been here and there are certain thing you cannot do? Just comment down below. And it's been a while I have been making video because of laziness. Unmotivated and just pure laziness and excuses. So that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment what you think about this, and I will see you next time.